टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सोमैटिक एम्ब्रियोजेनेसिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस सोमैटिक एम्ब्रियोज सोमैटिक एम्ब्रियोज आर द एम्ब्रियोज विच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम प्लांट सेल अदर देन द जायगोट एंड जायगोट इज फॉर्म बाय द फ्यूजन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल गैमेट विच इज deployed then no uh, the uh, cotyledons are formed and there is no seed coat in somatic embryo then features of embryo first it is bipolar second shoot meristem at the one end and root meristem at the other end then fourth one hypocotyl is formed in between and the last one is cotyledons are formed then after that it comes types of embryos first is zygotic embryo and the second one is non zygotic which is further divided into somatic then second parthenogenetic and third one is androgenetic zygotic embryos are produced from zygote and non zygotic embryos are the embryos which are not produced from zygote it is produced from other plant cell then you have somatic embryos which are produced from somatic cells then parthenogenetic embryos which are produced from unfertilized egg then androgenetic then androgenetic embryos which are produced from other part of the cell somatic embryogenesis was first induced in callus culture and suspension culture of carrot it can also be produced in the members of umbelliferi and solanaceae then you have for the stages there are three stages of somatic embryogenesis first one is induction second is development and third one is maturation and germination first we will discuss about induction for induction you have to use a plant cell and growth regulators for growth regulators you will use auxin and for in auxin you will use 24d and you can also use naa or dicamba then second stage comes the development
there is a very important point the development of somatic embryogenesis that it should be free from oxygen or it should be in very low concentration because oxygen inhibit the development of somatic embryogenesis the different in during the development the different shapes formed are globular then second you have heart shaped third is globular then fourth is cotyledonary one of the cell will become meristematic you can also say it pro embryogenic cell mass then further it will develop and form the cuticle it will start dividing as meristematic you know that meaning is dividing after that a globular shaped embryo will be formed it is known as globular because its shape is like a globe then it further changes into heart shaped because of its shape in form of heart then it further changes into torpedo shape then it changes into cotyledonary then you can germinate it and plant it on soil then further you have last one is maturation you have to consider some of the points for maturation first is you can grow it on a medium which will have high sucrose concentration you can also grow on a medium containing high concentration of oxygen high concentration of ab abscisic acid then you can also partly desiccate it and after that after it matures you can germinate it then last there comes the applications of somatic embryogenesis you can clonally propagate or you can say clonal propagation of identical germ lines then you can produce lines which will be free from viruses you can eliminate virus third you can produce artificial or synthetic seed the applications of somatic embryogenesis is very important because you can clonally propagate them they will have homozygosity then you can eliminate viruses as you are using the meristematic tissue then you can produce artificial seed by using somatic embryos this is all about somatic embryogenesis